I read it when I was on a plane and then I reread it and I called up and said, look, I know Karen Kusama and I know she's not thinking of me for this role, but would there be any chance that she'd be interested? And that sort of got the ball rolling, you know, as an actor, because it means you're pushing into places that you haven't been. Part of what excited me about working with Nicole was that she really hasn't done this role before. And so the idea that she was going to tackle the animus and aggression and resentment of this character just excited me because she kind of couldn't be more different in real life. And the fascinating thing about what we're doing with her look is, you know, it's not like we're doing a bunch of stuff on her. It's just a very raw, gritty kind of look. This is a kind of brutal environment we're depicting. That sort of that relentless beating down sunshine of Los Angeles and Southern California and the desert. And so for me, I felt like, let's see that on your face. Let's imagine that you've spent the past 17 years in this environment doing nothing to take care of yourself. Jesus, you look old. She comes in in the morning looking glowing and beautiful. Every bit the flawless movie star that she is. I prep her skin for the makeup. I put these little eyepiece eye bags on her. I put a little broken nose appliance on her to change the shape of her nose. And then I start going in and, and painting. And I do quite a lot of basically defining and creating shapes on her face. I paint in a lot of sun damage, a lot of layers of different colors and age spots and, you know, sun damage spots. A brilliant thing that Bill did was create freckles on her when she's young, but somehow those freckles look more innocent and more hopeful. And then to see that it kind of develops into something like almost sort of precancerous looking. My final thing is I'll add some texture to her face. There's a latex material that I can paint on her face and we stretch it a little bit that it doesn't necessarily add a lot of wrinkles. I'm just adding a quality to her skin that when she moves her face, it adds a lot more texture than is really there. It was a process, but the work Bill did was quite brilliant. I'm just glad that it got made. It was hard to get it made. And for it to be given the platform that it's been given now is, is really gratifying. She was very uncompromising in how she wanted the film to look and be, and I just felt safe in her hand. It's a masterclass in collaboration, you know, and that's what creates the best product. Hope that there's a sensitivity to the character that feels like I sort of knew her, maybe because I understood her on some instinctual female level. Look at that face. You want. Hungry little one. Are you drunk? Are you gonna tell me about the law? Who is it? No ID, no idea. You getting your mail here now? Silas is back. It's okay. And we believe we did nothing to cause them to mistrust us. You chose to play cops and robbers, and you lost. No! No! I think you're playing out some little vendetta, maybe. I'm mad. I'm still mad. It's burnt a circuit in my brain.